Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So this is a reading for any uh, sun, moon or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, we have the sun, major arcana. And so the sun is a card of great confidence. It's a card of really feeling energetic this week, of feeling uh, sparkly and bright and ready to do the things that you love to do, to capture your passions, to enjoy your passions, to enjoy the things that make you feel good and that are creative. There's a sense here that whatever you do is going to turn out well. This is a card of good health, of good relationships, of your job going well. It's a card of abundance. The sunflowers here, very much so. And you know, the sun brings our light force, our life force, and the light. And we take this light and we make it work for us. We absorb it and then we return it to those that we meet, the, the spirit in which we interact with others. So, you know, there's a sense of feeling enlightened when you have the sun here. So brilliance, radiance, confidence, perhaps being recognized for a job well done. So a wonderful beginning to the week in terms of things to think about. And then we have the emperor and also major arcana. So the emperor is again, it's the idea of leadership and confidence of having experience, whether you would benefit from these attributes of being structured, organized, following perhaps a system and leading fairly, uh, looking out for the collective good, perhaps of your family, of your friends at your work, in your relationship, the emperor brings that sense of structure. His expectation is that people are going to follow along because he's helping rule and is looking out for the best interest of all. You know, the thing with the emperor is that sometimes it can be a bit much. It could be perhaps inflexible and unwilling to listen to other ideas. So, you know, there's always... Uh, the light and the shade for each card. And this emperor brings to you a sense of leadership, of taking a leadership role, taking action, making plans, getting organized and getting structured for the week. So interesting, these two cards look similar here. We have the strength, major arcana. And in this strength card, the woman is her arms, she's cradling the lion's head and they look at peace. And so strength is a message to you to tell you that you have what it takes to be able to handle any adversity, any obstacles, anything in within your life. And you're going to do so by having this control of yourself by not being impulsive, by not being reactive or unkind, you're going to show strength through vulnerability, through gentleness and through consideration and kindness. That that's equally as strong or as powerful as someone who would try to force someone or you know use their physical force to get their way. So strength, a big heart, you have a big heart and you have the courage and you have whatever it is that you are facing, you have such strength to be able to deal with it. This is a fabulous card. 
And then interestingly enough, here's the Queen of Wands and she's got another cat, big cat here. The birds in the same type of coloring. The Queen of Wands brings this dynamic energy. Very much can do. Charismatic and very capable. That you are in a position where you can do what you want to do and you can handle several things coming to you. Whether that's work responsibilities or relationship responsibilities, you are the queen of multitasking and you're the queen of making it roll, making things roll. Getting in there, looking for adventure, having fun. Having fun. And you know, queen of wands, following your passions. What is it that puts a smile on your face? Where do you feel really good? Do that, you know, pursue that. This is high energy, high energy, kind, considerate. Perhaps you're a little more busy than normal. Maybe you're making plans or you're networking or you're helping someone. You could be volunteering. You could be organizing a charity event. You know, the, the queen is able to do a lot through charisma, through ambition, through drive, through will, all with a smile on her face. And um, it's almost like this incredible wall of this fun force coming at you. So now let's take a look at the outcome. So I'm going to pull one more card. I typically just pull. Okay. So this is the unknown card. And within this deck, so this is like a bonus card. And so I'm not quite sure if those are her eyelashes or if it looks like she's crying, um, but she's holding this orb in her hands. And I like the purple sense. There's a sense of, with this purple hue of this psychic ability. And I would say, I'm gonna skip over here to the high priestess as your outcome. It's a message to you to pay attention to your intuition, to your dreams, to the messages, to what the spirit and the universe is trying to tell you. It's open your eye and dig deep. This is a card of finding time to think about things, to think about your life, to reflect. It's not so much a can-do card, it's a card of finding stillness to have this deep dive, to be able to process and to understand you and your actions and your feelings. But really, one of the big messages here is to trust your intuition. So with the unknown card, let's see what's happening. You know, I'm not quite sure of what I would say with the unknown card. I'd be very curious of how you would read it, but I, from my First instinct of what I see, it's a sense of, you know, you're holding this orb and it's a matter of connecting with spirit. And again, I would say similar to this high priestess to listen for the messages, trust yourself. So of all of these incredibly powerful cards, the queen of wands, the strength, emperor, the sun, you know, three major arcanas and the high priestess we have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is typically a card of transition of removing yourself from a situation that doesn't serve you, that doesn't make you happy, and it doesn't make you feel fulfilled. And you reach that point where you're thinking, I need to step away from this. Perhaps this is temporary. And uh, maybe maybe time is needed to think about things and to do that deep dive before you feel that you, re you return. For some of you, you may just simply be walking away. And so if this is a toxic situation at the office, is, if this is a toxic friendship, if this is a relationship that isn't quite what you're hoping for in terms of passion or excitement, you may have to make a decision to walk away and to find the more calming and more fulfilling waters. And again, 
The strength card is behind you here. It's here to tell you that you have the strength to handle these type of moves, these types of actions. So very interesting reading for you in terms of a lot of confidence, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of strength, I would say, within in, in many different arenas. So now let's choose a card for a focus area or message for the week. The winged wise ones, angelic help, miraculous aid. So trusting your spirit guides, listening for the messages, following the trail of breadcrumbs. And again, uh, from my perspective, tuning in and purple is suggestive of psychic abilities and intuition of following your intuition as you move forward through the week. But, you know, I love starting off with the sun and the emperor, a lot of confidence, a lot of um, can do positive energy. So, oh, I'm not done. I need to keep going. I was going to wrap it up. I forgot. Okay, so here we are with emotional self or spirit. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've had tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Release yourself of the process and allow the outcome to arrive and uh, I think it's a, it, there's a peacefulness in the release. There certainly is. And, you know, understanding that you have the strength to uh, see things through. And finally, let's choose a card for love. present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So it's a wonderful reminder to be present, to be aware, to be sympathetic, and to, to rely on intuition. You have some big idea cards here with the sun, the emperor, strength, and the high priestess. I also I feel that the Queen of Wands is pretty big too. So I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.